Hi, recently I tried to clean up some files on the Mac and find out why the common problem. Imagine the situation when you have the same file on your Mac and also copy to the iCloud that you can make some changes on the way on your other devices. But the issue here is that you might forgot which file has the newer version and when you want to put it back together in one folder, you might accidentally replace the new version with the old one. I will demonstrate you all of these copying, replacing, merging options in this video. You can skip ahead and find the secret function straight away, but you might find more useful things throughout the video. I have prepared few example files in pages. They are in two separate folders, folder 1 and folder 2. They both have identical document 1. But you will believe me, I will turn on the preview panel so you can see the last changes. Now file 2 is newer in folder 1. You can see the new one has the text inside. And here in folder 2 it's the old version, without any changes. Document 3 is the opposite. There is an older version here and last edited is in the second folder. And now two extra documents. Folder 1 has a document called extra 1 which is not in other folder at all. And the same thing here. In folder 2 there is a document which is called extra 2 and it's not in the folder 1 at all. I think you got it. Now the idea is to merge these two folders. Where will be all the files together and only the newer versions of them. What you would usually do is to select all files in folder 2 and simply drag them to the folder 1 and drop it in. When you do that, this dialog window will appear. In this case, it will tell me that document 1 already exists in this folder. Ok, that's true. I have options here what to do. I can keep them both, which will basically create a copy of it. I don't need it, because they are both the same. If I press stop, it will cancel the whole process. It's not a solution either. And the last option, replace, will do exactly what it says. It replaces the files which are already in the folder with the other ones I am dragging in. I don't like this option either. Luckily, there is one more possibility. If I hold the option key down, notice skip both changes to skip. So in this case, it would be the opposite of replace. The versions that's already there in the folder will stay when I press skip. I know the first one is the same file, so I can skip it and move to the second one. I also know that this one has a newer version here already, so I can skip it as well. But what if I don't know about it? It doesn't say here that this is a newer or older version. How do I know which one to skip or not? Well, I have a solution to that as well. If you have just a few files, the next method will be very useful. But if you are merging folders with a lot of files, I will show you one secret option for it further in this video. I mentioned that when you drag the files from one folder to another one, it doesn't say which one is newer. It's not true, but only if I'm moving one by one. So if I take this file, drag it into the folder 1, it says a newer item with the same name already exists here. That's great, I can cancel it. Now take the other one, which is the opposite, and it will say an older item exists here, so I can replace it with a newer version. Unfortunately, it will not give you this information if you are moving several files at once. So you either have to look in each and every one and determine yourself what you should copy and not. Or there is one way to force the folder to always accept only the newer versions of the files you are moving. But to do that, you need to be merging folders with the same name. They need to have identical names. So I have to rename folder 2. I can't have two same folders in the same location, so I'll put the folder I want to keep somewhere in my document and rename the other one which is staying on the desktop. So now they have the same name. And have a look at this, if I drag the desktop folder in the documents where I have the other one, there is a conflict. I am trying to move a folder into a location where there is already another folder with the same name. 
It's again showing the same dialog and telling me if I want to replace the old folder or not, but it still doesn't help us. However, if I hold the option key down when I do this, see what happens. So holding option key and drag it into the folder, I will get a very different dialog. I have the same stop and replace buttons here, but this merge button is extra. This is kind of a hidden feature here. What merge will do is to combine the two folders and only keep the newer items. That's exactly what I need. Let's click on it and now see what's inside. I've got document 1, which was the same in both folders. I've got the newer document 2, the newer document 3 with text, and I've got extra document 1, which was only in this folder before, and I also have the extra document 2, which was not here before. Everything is just like I want it. At this point, I can just delete the folder I have on my desktop and all is cleaned up and merged into this folder 1. I find this method very useful for creating backups of my files on the external drive. So time to time, you want to copy new items to the disk in the same folders, so you can just merge them instead to make sure nothing will be lost on the way and it will always have the most recent versions. If you also want to know all the recent news and techniques used in macOS, subscribe to Apple Online Academy and you will know everything. I hope you found this useful and if you do, leave a like here to let me know about it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.